a lot of people do credit Slate with running the first blog, and I think if we ran the first blog that anybody read. I don't think we technically have the first blog, but um, the you know the sensibility of blogging and the blogging movement is 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 closely related to what we do, and uh, that in particular I think is something for all of you to think about and, and, and creates a big opportunity for you. You know, when I was getting into journalism, I was graduated from college in 1987, and it was very standard the way you did it. You applied for summer internships at mid-level newspapers, and the, all, the dream of all the people I went to college with and worked on my college paper with was to get a summer internship that might lead to a job at the Miami Herald or the Chicago Tribune or the Philadelphia Inquirer. I, in fact, could never get any of those jobs myself. Um, now, I don't think you'd do that. I mean, those are still coveted jobs and very competitive, I think, in a way into journalism. But uh, a lot of people just start their own blogs. And uh, what there's, there's this sort of rough meritocracy of, of blogging, which is that if you're interesting, good, have something other people don't have, can attract an audience, can and contribute something to the debate. And I should say that I think the best blogs contribute a huge amount, particularly the political conversation. I mean, really, in many ways, the national political conversation now takes place on blogs and on the internet. But you can, you, for your one, you can, you can give yourself some great practice and discipline as a journalist. You can set some of your own rules. And if you're good and have the talent, you can, you can come to the attention of editors, you know, like me or at conventional publications. And we increasingly, when we have job openings or openings for writers, which is, you know, not that often, but when it happens, more and more the candidates are people who, you know, just write something interesting on their own as freelancers, often not getting paid for it uh, as, as bloggers. So, you know, I think I mean, I don't keep a blog because I'm a little too busy, but um, I sort of think all of, uh, you know, anyone who's a journalism student should be doing one now for, for lots of reasons.